everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to disconnect your pedestal sink. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And on this channel, we're striving to save you money and keep you guys all informed on all the proper plumbing practices that we like to use. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so before you get started here, we want to make sure that we shut the water off to the taps underneath the sink. And then we also want to make sure that we have a little bucket to carry the water uh, that's going to come up from the P-trap. Let's get into this and let me show you how that's done. Alright, so here are the two shutoffs. We'll shut these right off, both of them. And then what I like to do just to confirm that the water is off, I will open the taps and make sure that there's no water coming out of the taps. We are good. All right, so now that we got that done, uh, we will move on and I will disconnect that P-trap, drain the water off, and disconnect the drainage from the sink. Let's get into that. Okay, so now that I got my, I got a little Tupperware, Tupperware container. It's nice and small because there's not a lot of room behind these pedestals here. So I'll just put it underneath the P-trap. I'll loosen the picture up right here and sometimes what you can do, we'll see if it will work here, if we lift this off, it'll break the seal on the trap, just like that, we got most of the water out. And then inside here, there's a trap adapter, which you can loosen off, and once you loosen that, you can actually pull this whole drain down, but I like just to get it started like this, and I'll put this catch it down at the bottom and then we'll loosen pedestals are really tight when you're working on them so sometimes it's, it can be fun so we'll just loosen the trap adapter here Sometimes they can be, that's why it's always good you want to have something to catch all the water underneath. And we'll push, pull this drain. Pull this drain right down. And just like that. There we go. Dump it all in our little catcher. On to the next. So the next thing that I'll do here is we'll disconnect the water to the supply lines. All right. So in this case, these nuts here are going to be changed out. So I'm just going to use uh, my baby baby locks. We call them <laughs> baby channel locks or baby pliers or small pliers. And we will just. Disconnect the water from the valves here. Do the same to the other one. Depending how tight these are, a lot of times you don't need to put backing on the valve itself, uh, like a backup wrench. So, but if you are worried, and it is um, kind of tight and it's bending the pecs a little bit or if it's copper coming out and you're worried about breaking the copper just go ahead and put a backup wrench on your valves and this is another good reason why you want to have something at the bottom here, I'll show you here that's just catching all the water that's coming out of there so. and then another good tip too is when you're doing this um, have your taps open uh, so that it just relieves all the water in the taps. So, because once we get this all the water drained out of here, we're going to be taking our bucket out. And if you accidentally open the um, taps by accident, you'll get a bunch of water rushing through it. So, just like that. And there we go. 
Okay, so here there's a few different ways people will mount these pedestals to the wall. Sometimes they'll use PL400 or they'll use silicone and just push the top of the pedestal towards the wall. And they'll, uh, they'll either also have uh, uh, either nuts and bolts or long screws uh, with wing backs or if there's backing behind there, they'll screw the top part of the pedestal sink to the wall here. So it is really tight to work in here. You might need some uh, specialty tools to kind of get some of these out. Uh, since there's a screwdriver we'll get here, so you'll just need a stubby one. Or sometimes if it's um, an actual hex nut, uh, you'll need like a little ratchet set. So um, yeah, I'll just kind of show you. You can see the two screws, one's here and one's here. So I'll take those out and then um, I'll carry on and I'll show you the next step. All right, so now that I got the screws out that was holding the top of the pet still to the wall, we are able to take this out. Now when you go through this procedure, it's always nice to have two guys. Uh, maybe one guy taking off the screws and another guy holding the pedestal, especially if it's a bigger pedestal like this, because this guy can get off kilter, off balance, and then fall, hurt somebody, or cause, cause some damage. So always easier with two people with these pedestals. Get it off, just like that. Those are those two holes I was showing you about. I don't know if you can see them. But there and there, that's where the bolts will be, bolts or screws will be through that will be holding this pedestal to the wall. All right, so now that we've got the top of the pedestal sink, we can take the leg out. Um, <clears throat> there's times that uh, guys will silicone um, the leg to the top part of the pedestal. So you'll have to scrape that silicone off of here. And sometimes they'll silicone the base of this here to the floor just to kind of give it a little bit more um, stability and strength but in this case it's not so we just take this out we're ready to either put a new pedestal in or a vanity all right everybody thanks for watching our video don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, i'd like to give a shout out to all the subscribers that we have right now thank you very much it keeps us motivated to create more videos just like this one to keep you guys all informed on all the proper plumbing practices that we like to use. Till next time, stay tuned. See you guys later. Have a good one.